What even is artificial intelligence or AI in the first place? For the past 13 years, I've not only been in love with technology, but I've been working towards applying it in domains where I believe it can have an impact on human lives. I've worked with students to understand their unique challenges. I've spoken to world leaders at United Nations events. I've worked with executives and business leaders to help advise them on their business strategy. And being able to cross-pollinate among all these different domains, I think, gives really unique insight into how to solve some of the most complex problems in the world. Mental illness is a huge problem and we can really make huge strides in solving it by using artificial intelligence technology. Since I was seven years old, I've actually been publishing tutorials to my YouTube channel, Tanmay Teaches, ranging a topic from math, science and programming to now artificial intelligence. I've been making videos all the way from when I sounded like this. Welcome to another tutorial. My name is Tanmay Bakshi. This time we're going to be going over, well, the impact of overfitting your neural network. Everybody needs to be a technologist at at least some level. Now, I'm not saying that everyone should be writing code for everything they need to do, but what I am saying is that you cannot silo away the domain experts and the subject matter experts that understand your industry and business and the developers that are writing the code and enabling the technology to function. You have to bridge that gap and sort of assign responsibilities to different teams, enabling them to work together. We are headed towards a skills crisis, whether you realize it or not. Right? And by the time we start to see those symptoms of the skills crisis manifest, it's gonna be too late. It's gonna be detrimental to communities that haven't adapted proactively. And so I believe it's our responsibility to make sure that we evolve, to make sure we adapt, we overcome that fear of change so we can prevent the impending skills crisis. People don't care about what technology you use, they care about what problem you solve. And for all the developers out there, keep in mind that what you're really doing is you're building technology and writing code to solve real problems that people face. If we continue to scale technology the right way, we can connect the disconnected. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.